the 6th of November International Day for Preventing the Exploitation of War and Armed Conflict. The United Nations General Assembly designates a number of international days to mark important human life and history. Each international day offers many actors the opportunity to organize related to the theme of the day. On November 6 every year, the UN observes the International Day Exploitation of the Environment in War and Armed Conflict. The day seeks to make people aware of the consequences that war and conflict have. To celebrate and tribute the 20th anniversary from this first date, Frontiers in Human Dynamics is hosting a collection of articles aimed at shedding light on the relationship between the environment and conflict-affected areas of the globe. Indeed, even though climate change is perhaps one of the trendiest words used nowadays and immediate environmental actions are prioritized by the political it much of literature has focused on understanding the threats of conflicts on society and livelihoods. While it is all resources represent a core component in societies to grow and boost their economy, nearly 1.5 billion people, over 20% of the world's population, live in conflict-affected areas and fragile states. War and armed conflict present a risk for humanity and other forms of life on our planet. Too many lives, and species. Decades of ugly wars in countries such as Afghanistan, Colombia or Iraq have led to the immense loss of natural resources. In Afghanistan alone, we have witnessed astounding deforestation rates which have reached 95% in some areas. In 20, the Islamic State triggered vast toxic clouds by setting ablaze oil wells and a sulfur factory near the Iraqi city of Mosul, poisoning the landscape and people. Critical biodiversity hotspots in Colombia, Democratic Republic of Congo and South Sudan have refuge for rebel groups. This has been disastrous for wildlife and forest conservation as these habitats have opened the logging, unregulated mining, massive poaching and breeding grounds for invasive species. Elephant populations have been decimated in DR Congo and Central Africa. Eyes by for now and we'll see in the next video.